This is the iconic view of Singapore's city skyline from a 20,380,000 three-storey penthouse at South Beach Residences, one of Singapore's most remarkable architectural masterpieces and the ultimate trophy home. South Beach Residences is part of the award-winning South Beach Integrated Development that includes a Grade A office tower with some of the strongest corporate tenants, F&B, the upscale GW Marriott Hotel, as well as heritage buildings that have been turned into majestic lifestyle and event venues. It is directly linked to Esplanade MRT, City Hall MRT Interchange, Raffles City Shopping Centre and Suntec City Mall. My name is Lorraine and I'm Clarice and today we'll be touring a lavish 5,070 square feet three-storey penthouse that comes with an internal lift, a lofty ceiling, an infinity pool, a steam room and unparalleled views of Singapore's skyline. Can you guess what are these? This one, um, I think it's a parking lot. It's, um, I'm not sure actually. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, it's what? a parking lot. So it really sets the tone when you come home, right? Don't you think? Yes, because yes. you have like the nice backdrop, the picturesque yeah. view. So we're right here at the basement mm. car park. Shall mm. we go in and check it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before we head up, there's something I want to show you. Yeah. So it's over here. Oh, golf bag locker. Yeah. I can see a bit yeah. of it inside. So you can see there are lots of locker rooms that are actually catered for, for the owners here that they can put in their golf bags. So it's so easy for them to just you know grab it and then head out for their golfing session. Mm. Are we heading to? So we're heading to level 41 where the unit wow. is at. Yeah. On the first floor we have a really grand concierge area as well mm. as a mm. welcome lobby. If you notice the floor levels actually start from the 22 oh, upwards. Yes, yeah. yeah. Because the residential units are seated above JW Marriott Hotel. Yeah. And also like the 22 and 32 is the sky garden. Yeah, so there you'll find all the facilities. Yeah. On level 22 you'll see the dramatic infinity pool and mm -hmm. really elegant function rooms. Yeah. And on 32 you'll have a gourmet dining area as well as a really nice elegant reading rooms. So we're here yeah. now at level 41. Can't wait to see the unit. <laughs> So here we are. Wow. Yeah, just check out the high ceiling. Yeah, I really like this um, cone shaped light. Yeah, they look like droplets. Yeah, right? very beautiful. <laughs> What's really awesome is like I hardly see a ceiling that's that high for a penthouse unit and the windows are actually floor to ceiling. That's one of the highlights I want in my dream home actually. <laughs> Let me show you the most impressive part of the view. So we're wow. here at the balcony where yeah. you really see this iconic view. Yeah. Like every time, you know, when you Google an image of Singapore, it's yeah. always this yes, Marina yes, Bay yes. view, right? I see MBS, Esplanade. You can literally spot any iconic landmark from this home. Mm, I can imagine like having a coffee here, breakfast mm. here, because it's just next to the kitchen. Yeah. Before I show you the kitchen, let me just show you one of my favourite spots in this home. So we've got this fixed glass panel. It's really yeah. nice to sit on. And you can see the sea view all the way to the horizon from mm. my view. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah, we have two very different views here. Yeah. One is of the buildings. If you're someone who likes buildings more, well, and then from the angle, it's like, yeah, yeah, of the water. And so right over there, we have the Asian Civilization Museum. Mm. So this place is really steeped in culture and heritage as well. We're yeah. near all these um, iconic landmarks. Yeah. Um, and then you have the Parliament House, and you have the War Memorial as well, just right downstairs. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I see a dining area here. 
Yeah. This dining area is very unique because mm. I've not seen a table like that so far. So far it's always either like brown or squarish and yeah. this one is like a odd shaped diamond or something in it. And it really feels very close. Yeah. Like you you're sitting pretty close to each other, so it's very good for like families. Mm. And moving on to the kitchen. Yeah. So at the kitchen we can see yeah. like there's a fridge here to mm. store your wine. Mm. And of course it's the best brand which is Sub Zero. And you have this open island where you can do some cooking on the induction stoves. These induction stoves are by Mille, mm. as well as the oven. Right over here, we have this massive Sub Zero fridge. Wow. So you could actually have like a chef over to yeah. cook and to entertain and host mm. dinner parties and gatherings. Because mm. I would say this kitchen is super well equipped. Yes. Yeah, there's even like um, a oh, coffee. Additional. Yeah, a coffee maker. So that's the dry kitchen area and now mm. we're moving and entering into the wet kitchen. So it also leads out to the balcony so you actually get to cook with a lovely oh. view. And at the back we have what would be good as a utility room or helper's room and the helper's washroom right at the back. So I thought it was quite interesting that they built a loft oh. in the centre. And also just one thing to point out, right? Mm. There is skylight also that like, lets in lots of natural light mm. into the home. It, yeah. And it really blends in very well with the art design here. Mm. I think it was a really awesome idea to build this loft. Yeah. Because yeah. you get an entirely different view from here. And it doesn't affect the other areas as well. Mm. Because they still get the high ceiling on yeah, both sides. Yeah, the living and dining yeah. areas. So to our right, we have a powder room that's really easy and accessible for everyone at the living area. Mm. Yeah, and now let's check out the bedrooms. Yes. Oh, on the way to the bedrooms, we actually have the private internal oh, lift wow. as well. So this is one of the common bedrooms and just mm. see, look at how spacious it is. Yes, yeah. I love the high beds, ah. like the elevated um, beds. Looks so comfortable. It looks so comfortable and plush. Yes. <laughs> and the whole space is really like very well utilized. It's like two side tables, mm. this um, little Writing desk. desk yeah. yeah. So this is an ensuite bedroom. So mm. right over here we have the common bathroom. It has really gorgeous white marble tiles on the floor and on the walls. All over. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really like how it's one straight through. Usually I thought I would prefer a mixture of towels mm. but this one is very nice because it it's all well. white. Yeah. Oh, there's one more room here. Yes. So there are two bedrooms on this floor mm. level mm. and it's really private because um, it has this uh, wall over here. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have guests, they can't look right directly into the room yeah. and you have a full wall of wardrobes. <laughs> so can you guess what's inside this? There's something behind me. Yeah. Well, then I'm assuming it's the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> like, you would never guess that there's something wow. behind. There's a double basin here. Yes. A nice bathtub. Actually, I noticed both rooms are roughly the same size. Yeah, they're all about the same size. Oh, um, really? Yeah. So on level 2, there are two bedrooms. So let's yeah. just check it out. There's a little wardrobe here, is it? Oh, that's a distribution board, mm. like your electricals and also some oh. storage space as well. So here we are on the second floor. Yes, and I noticed it's also high ceiling. Mm. Yeah, really gorgeous ceiling heights here. Yeah. So we also have a family area on the second floor. Oh. The feature wall that can mount a TV. Yes. So this wow. is the other common room. Yeah, it's really of the same size as mm. the ones below. And there's also a bathroom as well here. To the final remaining bedroom, the layout is just like the one right downstairs. Really spacious bedroom and a bathroom with a bathtub, his and her sink, oh. as well as the smart total washlet system as well. So now, let me bring you to one of the highlights that we've all been waiting for. The oh. third floor, the rooftop which holds the infinity pool. Here we are. This could be like a nice barbecue pit area. Yeah. So, oh, the lift is here. So the lift brings you up over here. Yeah. Right beside, we have a steam room. So here we have the infinity pool. Wow, I didn't notice it was here because it was blocked by this. Yeah. yeah. 
So this is the multi-million dollar view that you get to enjoy when you stay at Marina Bay Sands yeah. and you soak in the infinity pool there. You literally yeah. have the same experience over here. Yeah. And then there's a sun bed, I sun see bed. Yes. It's very comfy and the architecture here. I think one thing I really like is the colours that are chosen here are more on the like warm colours, light, soft colours. Mm. So it feels very cosy and comfortable and even spacious because it also helps to reflect the light. Mm. So the place is also very nicely littered and there are a lot of little dark accents like this wood under this table and the dark chair, dark wooden chair looking thing. And yeah, I, I really like the whole design of this space. I would say for all the homes that I've toured, this unit has one of the top best views that I've seen. Mm. I was really mesmerized when I stepped out into the balcony. I love that it's a combination of hotel, F&Bs, and how they've incorporated all these uh, historical heritage buildings into this development. Yes. At the same time, um, it's also very convenient and directly connected to Esplanade City Hall MRT Station. We have one of the best malls, Raffles City, right at the doorstep and yeah. also Suntec City Mall. So these are the things that really stood out for me for this development. So if you enjoyed our tour today, do give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you want more tours like this. And all the information to purchase this unit is down in the description below. And we also have other penthouses in South Beach residences for sale. So if you would like more information on that, do contact us. But be quick because more than 80% of this development has already been sold. Wow, you better catch it quick. <laughs> so thank you for watching this episode and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.